welcome back to my channel just Rhea if you don't know who I am I am Rhea and in today's video I'm gonna be doing a tag I don't know how long ago it was created but it was created by Jacqueline Hill and I this was one of the tags that I just wanted to do so it's called the Ride or Die Tag Beauty Edition, and we're just gonna go through my Ride or Dies. So if y'all are interested to see which products I ride with and which products that I throw to the wolves, stay tuned. Okay, so first thing is first, we're gonna start with what I know. I'm just gonna go through like I would normally would when I'm doing my makeup. So first thing is first is the eyebrows. So I'm definitely riding with Benefit Cabral. I absolutely have been loving this product. A young lady from the Ulta store, she recommended it. I was looking for specific products because I originally was using the CoverGirl one, but I wanted to something, it it was really good as, as me being introduced to it, but I knew that there was something else better out there. So this is one that I'm definitely riding with. Um, the one that can, that I'm not riding with, the one that can definitely get thrown to the wolves is Maybelline Tattoo, Tattoo Studio. Um, so I really do not like this product. Maybe it's because I don't really know how to use it properly, but I'm not liking this product at all. The next thing that I use, and it's still with eyebrows, is the LA Girl Pro Concealer. Um, I use this to highlight my eyes. It's like 99 cent, depending on where you get it from, 99 cent to 199. And my saying is, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So this product works wonders when you're trying to highlight your brow. And so I just feel like if it still works, still doing this job, I'm just keep paying the 99 cent for it. I mean, period. All right. So now we're gonna move on to eyes. So what I use as a base for my eyes before I put any eyeshadow on, simply because I have oily lids, no matter what eyeshadow I put on my eyes, my oil is gonna break through and break that eyeshadow up. And so I have to lay down some type of base, even if I have a transition color down, like I need something, I need a layer on top of my eye first, and then I can put the eyeshadow on. So what I have been using for a while now is the Urban Vibes Cosmetics eyeshadow base. I like milk chocolate and I like, I will do tan if I can't find milk chocolate, but my favorite is milk chocolate because it goes into my eyebrow highlight and I like that. Um. Another one that I typically use is the Urban Vibes Cosmetics um, base in white when I'm trying to do cut creases. It works really good and I don't have to like rush to hurry up and put a color down on it because it's gonna pull the color even when it dries. So that's another reason why I like that one so much. Okay, so the bases that I don't like for my eyes um, is the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. My eye, um, the oils in my eye will break through this. Um, so it doesn't really work for me. And this is even worse. The Revolution Cut Crease Canvas. Hate it. Throw to the wolves. Um, moving on with the eyeshadow palettes. Jackie Anna, Anastasia Beverly Hills and Jackie Anna palette is definitely one that I'm riding for. I absolutely love it. Um, I've used it several times, even though it doesn't look like it. I don't think I've ever panned anything, so that's definitely going to be a goal of mine in 2021 is to pan something. I don't care what it is, I want to pan it. I have two um, palettes that I like. So Jackiana Anastasia, no, Anastasia Beverly Hills and Jackiana collaboration palette. And then the Urban Vibes of Volume 2 is, I use this palette probably every day, even though this, this is my second one. I didn't pan my other one, it dropped. And one of the eyeshadows that I used the most out of it ruined the rest of the colors because it just crumbled and psh, it was a mess. But these are the two palettes that I use the most. Um, pa uh, one palette that I don't like is the, um, I got it in a, no, okay. So it's a CoverGirl palette that I used in my own, um, video a while back i put it in the eye here um or here one of the one of the um corners but <laughs> i it's a cover girl palette roses ro metallic roses or something like that hated it hated it it can go to the wolves so next is gonna be normally after i do my eyes i um put my 
concealer on. So what I conceal with is um, no foundation. I'm talking about one foundation that I am riding for is the Juvia's I Am Magic Foundation because it definitely is magic. It has all of your secrets, period. And I absolutely like it. It's a velvet matte foundation, and I'm pretty sure all of us know about this foundation, so I don't even got to go into detail. But the color that I use is 230, and I'm not wearing it right now, but <laughs> because I did something like a five-minute look super quick just to put something on, but I, yeah. This is normally the foundation that I record with, that I take pictures with, because it films beautifully. Leave a thumbs up if you think so as well. Now... As far as powder foundation, I'm riding with Too Faced. Too Faced is definitely going to always stay in my collection. This Born This Way Too Faced Multi-Use Complexion Powder is really good. And I'm actually wearing this one. This is one of the things that I gravitate to when I'm trying to do something real quick. And I don't have time to be doing all of that blending with the liquid foundation. Definitely a go-to. Now, one foundation that can get thrown to the wolves... <laughs> It's a CoverGirl foundation that I found in one of my caboodle, in my caboodle. I don't have it because I think I trashed it. Absolutely don't have it. So, but that foundation is, I hated that foundation. After looking back, I, I got that for first, I got that foundation when I first started doing makeup. And after looking back at photos, it did not match me in no way, shape, or form. It was more of an orange color, and it was too light, so it wasn't even in the deep section. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know why I was thinking I was that light. It's just she was dark, okay? But um, that's one that can go. Now, on to concealer. Juvia's concealer, and I use shade 11 to highlight under my eye. I don't have it on. No, I, I don't have it on today. I don't have it on today. But this is definitely one that I'm riding with. And then Kevin Aquan. I love Kevin Aquan um, Sensual Skin um, Enhancer. But I don't wear it all the time simply because it is so expensive for a concealer that I just use it sparingly. Like this has to be a promo type of video type of thing where I just want to be picture perfect. Um or I'm going to an event or something like that, but you will rarely ever catch me wearing this on a video. Yeah. Um, one concealer that is just not my cup of tea. Um, do I even have any? Oh, this. The Black Radiance HD Corrector. I really do not like this. If anything, if I can't find my um, LA Pro Concealer, then I will use this as a runner up to highlight my eyebrows, but using it for under eye or no, it doesn't correct anything and it's, it's extremely light. Even my Pro Concealer is darker than this. So, mm -mm. throw it to the wolves, it can die, period. Okay, so contour is what I do next. And I am loving, um, I have two contours. I like the Juvia's in the shade four. And then I'm loving Natasha Denona. I actually have her on today. And um, I typically go with the Juvia's if I want a more boom, like the contour is here. But I typically go with Natasha Denona if I just want something a little subtle. Simply because you can build it up with, the Juvia's Place is there. You notice it's there and you're going to have to blend. You're going to have to blend. Now, it blends easily, but at the same time, I would just, if I know I want something subtle, I'd just rather go with the something that's already subtle. And this is in the shade 05 Deep. Um, Now, a contour that I just do not like is the um the true complexion contour palette it's okay it's not one that i like very much um i feel like once i tried natasha denona and got a, um, and tried the liquid it's not something that i gravitate to anymore so unfortunately it can go beat it to the wolves um next bronzer i only have one bronzer and it's that 
Charlotte Tillsbury airbrush bronzer and I'm riding with this till the wheels fall off. Do you hear me? I love this bronzer. I have it on today. I absolutely love this bronzer. Oh my gosh. How was I doing my makeup without it? It is so beautiful. It applies flawlessly. It, it, Charlotte, you did your damn thing with this, period. All right, my next thing. Okay, so what I do to set under my eyes, and I should have did this one after I did the concealer, is setting powder. I normally, um, I use, I have two. I use the Pat McGrath Labs, and it's in the color shade Deep. And I like it. I mean, but I also like this. And this is um, by DJ's Boutique. I've been gravitating to this a lot. I absolutely love it. It is the truth. I really love this loose powder. It really does what it's supposed to do. It highlights. It mattifies. Period. And that's what I like. I like for it to do what I do what it needs to do so that I can move on to the next step. So these two, definitely a yes. Um, one powder that I don't like, Black Radiance True Complexion Setting Powder. I don't like it. I just don't like it. I feel like I look ashy when I take pictures. It's just, mm, I ain't riding. I'm not riding with that. So no, no. My next thing is blush. I have to cover FX. I'm going to forever be riding with the cover FX monochromatic blush, duo brush, duo brush, duo blush. Um, the monochromatic blush duos. I have two sets. I have spice cinnamon and I have spice cinnamon and, um, Warm honey, and I actually use spice cinnamon today. And it's it you can build it up. I of course used it sparingly. It's very subtle looking, and that's the look I was going for because I wanted like a just a natural look today. Um, let me see. Where, what's a blush? Oh, I do have another bronzer. Hold up, rewind. The Fenty, and a lot of people will probably be shocked about this. I don't really like the Fenty bronzer. It doesn't, it just doesn't do what Charlotte does. Back to the blush. Okay, so the monochromatics and definitely Charlotte Tillsbury cheek. Yeah, cheek to cheek. Love this, love this. If I can't find that I definitely I gravitate to both of them they're both beautiful um I think I have the climax and it looks great I love it it's so beautiful okay next is the uh, all over the the just my finishing powder but it's the all over the airbrush flawless finishing powder and I absolutely love this finishing powder. It does what it's supposed to do. If I need to come in here and just do a little quick boom, 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 all of my little shiny spots are gone instantly and they don't come back for a while. Um, now one powder that I can throw to the wolves, Black Radiance, um, True Complexion Soft Focus Finishing Powder. Don't get me wrong. It's a nice finishing powder, but I just feel like if I had to choose, because you choosing your ride or die. So if I had to choose, I'm definitely going with the Charlotte Tillsbury on this one. They are similar, very similar, but yeah, I'm riding with Charlotte till the wheels fall off. So, all right, guys. So, I, oh, lashes. My favorite lashes are Urban Vibes Cosmetics Amina lashes. I love these lashes because they give this flare. I absolutely love these lashes. Um, 
So, you guys, if you guys want to do this tag or if you've done this tag, leave a comment in, a sec in the comment section below and let me know so I can go check out your tag. Um, and if you're going to do the tag, also let me know so I can still check it out. I hope you guys like this video. Um, I know I'm super late in uploading today. Today is December 5th. I didn't get a chance to record yesterday because yesterday was Nisi's birthday. So if any of you guys want to wish my daughter a happy birthday, feel free to do so down below in the comment section below. She's 11 now. But again, I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.